I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right, so let's start this up. So welcome everybody to episode. Do you know what episode we're on? I feel like we should look this up every time 29? I say this every time. I think we are on 29 of no, the uh, Final Circle podcast. Let's see. I'm Googling. I'm logging into our Podbean account right now. And actually, this is such a good segue to the first thing that I want to talk to you about. And everybody really? that's listening to the podcast, before we get into anything, is that my new computer is built. And this is the first podcast that we're ever recording with me on my new Hooray. computer, right? I Yeah, this is the first one, I'm pretty sure. Hooray. Yeah, so it's, this is I awesome. it's uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah but this is very exciting, completely. It, it's very exciting, but one of the things that I have to talk about before we get into all this stuff is how I was not prepared for how much stuff, if you guys, a lot of people out there use just a phone nowadays or maybe a laptop, but I use my desktop every single day um, cause I, first of all, I have it hooked up. I own one, but for the stream doing video editing and when you have a laptop or a desktop, there's so many things I, over years of using like my other computer I had for seven years where I had customized everything where, where mm. something goes when you download a file, everything, even down yeah. to like all your passwords being saved on the computer down to like so many things that I can't even think of, like just so many things, even my fonts, dude, I downloaded so many fonts over the course of seven years that when I was trying to reset up the stream, I had to find the font that I used for the stream. Again, it's called like Bombardier or something. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, huh? I didn't, I didn't think about all this stuff. So um, when people are like, Hey, why aren't you streaming the new computer? I'm like, dude, I it's, there's so many little things that you, I like to customize. And after, you know, a while that yeah, take a long time to set to up. Out. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. So even trying me trying to log into uh Podbean, I'm like, I don't know what my Podbean password is. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, that's what we use to uh, publish yeah. the podcast. And yeah, this is technically episode number 29. So we were correct. That's, that's great. Oh, wow. We're pretty spot on there. Yeah. We're pretty good. I mean, and I that's remember 28. We should be at 30, but last week was a little hectic. Yeah, yeah, we did miss last week, so we apologize for that. Um, but even with that, missing last week, we yeah, last month was the most downloads we've ever had through iTunes, which <clears> is um, Ooh, pretty so awesome. Going up. Yeah, so yeah, the moving chart the chart is is moving up, so that is good. And uh, we did miss <clears> we <throat> did we did miss last week. I know I know like we're both busy, and last week was um, the update for PUBG. Yeah, I didn't get to play until like Friday night. So yeah, so I figured a like we had to wait till we both play. B like the day it came out, the day after. I was doing like huge streams. So like anytime there's a new update, I like to stream a lot. So I did like a 12 hour stream one day, and yeah. then like a pretty long stream the next day. Then we're getting ready for the tournament, which was last weekend. So we actually, now that I think about it, we have a lot to talk about. So we just got really busy. Obviously we try to stick to once a week, but when things happen, we just got to like move it forward. So that's why I'm recording this one a little early. And just to date it today is uh, July 7th, 2019, mm. two days away before uh, 4th of July. And yeah, where do you yeah, want to start? Um, you want you want to talk about the um, new patch first? Yeah, we, I think that would be a good place to start. Why not? Yeah, so the patch came out. This is technically patch number nine on Xbox. Or no, this is actually patch number eight. Excuse me. This is patch number eight. And this mm -hmm. is uh, probably one of the biggest patches ever for PUBG on Xbox, except for, and PlayStation 4, except for it didn't come with any new actual content, like no new weapons or vehicles or anything. But in terms yeah. of just how big the update was with weapon masteries, new controller preset, um, all the stuff that we've been talking about, a lot of UI improvements, auto equip attachments, auto equip scopes, the tactical marker system. I'm just scrolling through like so many things were kind of added in this update, the network statistics that uh, the patch notes are really, really long. And yeah, yeah pretty big update overall. I mean, so if, did I, you kind of broke up. Did you ask me how I thought of it overall? Um, well, I said pretty big update overall, but yeah. It, oh, let, me yeah know, no, let me know what it you, was a big update. yeah, let me know what you think. Like how much did you get to play? I know you've been busy. So, I mean, I played Friday. Um, did I get to play Saturday? I played a couple, of like two days, I think. But we it's kind of funny. Like, remember we had discussed it in the prior episode that we were hoping that it would just be like when you picked up a barrel that and you drop like an M44, all your attachments that were compatible with Switch. Like, yeah. that's exactly what it does, which yeah, is they, nice. They added that in saying like auto replace attachments. So exactly, if you switch from one gun to another. Yeah. And that to me is like <clears throat> the biggest change that I like in the game like that you notice like you you physically like i don't I haven't really noticed the auto equipping attachments that often uh, because i still am in my menu systems so much but like when you kill a guy and you want his gun 
and you want to switch from say the m4 to the barrel like it it's just very quick to go yeah. from one thing to another which is nice definitely because it, it was like i think we, we had both discussed that and it just makes it way easier and i didn't really notice the other um i mean i guess i would sometimes notice the option to just like auto equip you know you wouldn't have to go into the menu um but i didn't really notice it that much you know what i mean i didn't think it was like anything groundbreaking no, i think i think if you're like hot dropping yeah if you're like hot dropping a lot you might notice it more but to me it like wasn't a huge a huge difference and i still no. have mine you you can set it to whether or not you want um, all scopes to auto attach or just the small ones like red dot holographic and canton and yeah that's how i have mine set up so even if i pick up like a two times it doesn't auto attach anyways um, yeah i guess if you wanted to be like really intricate you could put like what like every scope in the options and do you want it to auto attach because i would probably auto attach up to two times and then after i wouldn't because i wouldn't want a three time scope to like auto attach on my gun if i was like hot dropping in boot camp or something yeah i agree i mean i guess part of it is that uh what's the word for this I guess it's good in, in, in the initial phase, like when you land, that you can quickly attach things. But, like, you know, in under normal circumstances, it's not, like, a big... Yeah, um, totally. Big thing. That's what I was saying. Uh, it's like, if you're hot dropping, it, it makes a huge difference. But if you're, like, slowly looting a body, seeing what you want, like, it doesn't matter that the attachments are auto-attaching, but it's nice. I don't even know if it does that when you loot. Exactly. I, I really don't even... <clears throat> like you said, like you said I, I barely notice it playing the game. So I guess that's a good thing. Because it just it's a small change then, overall. Yeah, and I, I mean I don't think it should have been a huge change. I mean maybe some more auto equipping similar to the foam, but in reality I think it's a good um, combination. I really think when we talked about it the week before, just being able to drop a gun and then switching your attachments is pretty much everything we needed. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's very in my in my opinion. Yeah, it definitely helps a lot, especially like I said in those moments when you're just trying to quickly switch after like killing somebody or. Um... Yeah, I don't know. And you need to like you're out in the yeah, open. The circles come in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's like no reason for you to have to like hold X. It drops everything. And then you're like picking up a gun, attached. You know, going through. You know, then you got to go to the, the bottom. List, the, up, yeah, you yeah. got to go all the way to the bottom to find. You know, what's nice is we had a game today where um, I we won. I had we got a I got a really late care package like uh, right at the end of the game, and I had a mm. cart 98, and in the care package was a AWM. And the circle was coming in. In some situations, I would be like, I'm not going to grab this. But I literally just swapped it out. And all my attachments for my car 98 went to the AWM. And then I just we moved on. And I ended up getting like a double kill. And we won the game at the AWM. It was, it was awesome. Oh, no. I watched that game, actually. Yeah. I was, uh, I was there. I was probably not talking, oh, okay. but I was like watching. Okay, yeah. I tried to watch one again. Yeah, um, no, that's cool. Yeah, you had a sick headshot. The guy behind the rock, he just like laid him out with the AWM. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't get to use it that often, but since I'm trying to get that uh, challenge, two headshots at 200 meters in one mm. game, I've been trying to snipe more. So I've been getting a little bit better. Today, I had a, today I actually sniped really well, but I usually struggle in the game sniping pretty bad, especially to me. People always say like they don't, it's not like a big deal for them, but switching from sniper to sniper to sniper because they all have such different like velocities of where you need to aim in front of somebody when they're moving. Yeah. And also I, I said, that. I said, I said this the other day, people are like, Oh, I don't get it. It's pretty easy to snipe. Like you just point at their head and I'm like, dude, I'm not talking about when they're not moving. Anybody can snipe a target when they're not moving. If you have a big enough yeah. scope, I'm talking about when I'm saying I have trouble sniping. I mean like 200 yards away. Someone's running left to right and you're trying to snipe them in the head. I I'm like not that great at doing that. Um, I, no, I that's I'm good hard. at, I'm good at hitting in them in the chest, but I, I'm really bad at hitting them in the head at like 200 plus meters. I struggled. Yeah, doing I, that. the other day when I was playing, I shot a guy in the throat. Like, kept shooting people like in the throat or something. I was like, "Come on, dude!" Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It just seems like I mean, because PUBG really makes you earn it. Because in any other game, yeah. like Halo or Call of Duty, a it would be like auto aim would just give it to you. The headshot range is way bigger. In this game, like, there's so many times you're like a neck shot <laughs> with an AWM. You're like, what? Yeah. Wouldn't that just like blow that guy's head off? It probably would. I mean, he'd be dead. Um, yeah i know like yeah if it's shooting him in the neck at this point you guys gotta be fucking dead yeah, i remember when i first heard that PUBG had neck shots i i was surprised that they even coded that as different from the head but then it kind of makes sense but <clears throat> not really to me because if you're getting shot in the neck dude it's the pretty much living it's pretty much the same very it's like it's a it's basically a headshot it, it has to be pretty much the same yeah and then on a character I mean, model you look it up but yeah, on a I character just, model, it's a very small range. So to say, like, it's not your upper chest, it's a neck shot, it's kind of interesting to have that as a whole different range. 
but nonetheless, we're kind of like, uh, you know, pulling hairs here, whatever it is, counting hairs. But um, yeah, no, splitting hairs, splitting hairs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, splitting hairs, splitting, <laughs> splitting some hair here. Yeah, but yeah, I agree. I mean, I but don't it know. is hard. I, even even when you watch like a pro, like don't don't. I mean, at me, people. I'm just kidding. Around anyone listening, it's like it's like I watch people taco taco and stuff. Like they're not hitting every snipe at that distance. Like it's not PUBG isn't a game where you can guaranteed hit all those snipes. It just isn't because of the the way people are moving and, and no auto aim. There's just it's not a game that works like that. You know? Yeah, I agree. I 110 percent agree. I think that it's valuable. Like I don't know, man. I, sometimes and there's just some some latency all the time. So it's kind of like. Mm yeah totally there's times when i'm like mm, dude i shot like behind that guy and he died i'm like i don't know about that i killed a guy where i saw the yeah. desync like i shot a bullet and he went behind the tree like he went behind the tree in my bullet shot and he died i'm like oh man that's awful like i i feel bad for that guy but it could have been yeah, him. Exactly. it could have been me but like you know it, it goes both ways it like happens every oh yeah 110 percent. it's yeah, yeah. It, that's it's pretty much even not everyone no one's gonna have really a, much of an advantage you know yeah oh and speaking of Speaking of that, it's actually another good segue into um, that like network debug statistics. I don't know if you put that on your um, game or not. Like uh, it's in the settings. No, there's I an option now. Yeah, because sure. I, I was uh, no. I mean, just you should turn it on just to look at it. But I turned it mm -hmm. on when I was streaming, and then everyone was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn that on for like just to see what it looks like at least." And it shows you like your ping to the server and like the, your connection up and down like your packets. And it was just I turned yeah. I turned it off um, because of for the tournament to. Um, to host the tournament but it's interesting mm -hmm. to see your ping go up and down and then i was playing with uh, mike mogg from the uk shout out to him and and yeah. my ping was at like over 100 and that's and you could tell like oh i'm like oh we're on the uk server probably and then i looked and we were because it still says it on the very bottom and then when yeah. we're on the us server my ping goes anywhere from like zero to like 30 a lot of times it's just hovering around like zero to 10 which is crazy but the um, PUBG server in america i guess is in or the only server is like in in new york i think or on the east coast so i think we're like pretty uh, yeah, close to it i don't know i thought it saw it was in ohio but then again i have no it, idea it, for it, sure. could, it could be in ohio but i like randomly googling it i know it's somewhere east though because everybody in california was saying their ping was like anywhere from 70 to 100 like like uh almost like we're playing on the uk because if you're in yeah, california i've heard that you know i've definitely heard that too so it's just cool because you can see it and then i was watching like somebody else play with it on and you could see they were having like packet loss and i wasn't having any of that and that's i think that's what would start to cause some desync when you're having packet loss because the packets are what is sending the data so if a, there's a packet loss that would mean that like mm. something some of the data is lost so it might show a player like skip in front of you technically i guess if there's a packet yeah. loss or it could cause any of those kind of things to happen in a game that that don't really make sense um so i it's just a, it's just extra data and it's in the top left hand corner of the screen if you put it on so i thought it was cool but i already turned it off but it's fun to look at yeah i mean it's uh, maybe i'll check it out this to see but i mean i don't really I yeah. know my ping should be okay if I'm it, playing in the U.S. Yeah, it's just fun to it's in New York. it's fun to see it there because it's always bopping up and down. So you're like, you're, and then it makes you think like, okay, why is this at zero now? And then why is that like fifty now? And you're like, just think, but it's just life and like the internet going up and down. Yeah, well, there's like it depends on how many people are connecting and stuff like that. The internet in general, you know. Yeah, it's your internet. Yeah, yeah, totally. You can tell it's like if you're in the middle of nowhere on a like Erangel, I was like just hovering at zero, and then when we were getting into like fights, maybe there's just more data, so like the ping was going up higher. I don't, I don't know. It's just, or maybe it was just a coincidence, but it seemed like when I was near people, the ping was a little bit higher. Yeah, I mean that's definitely possible. Yeah, I'm I not sure. I'm not. Out. I'm not super well versed in all that stuff. I just, I know like a little bit about it. No, but, I mean it, it makes sense to me. Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. It, yeah. Um, and then on top of that, so there I was think like, it's just. Oh, keep going. My bad. No, nah, like I mean, I remember. I know, like even like Monday mornings, like people's ping is going to be like bad because everyone's. You know going to work and everything yeah it's, so it just you know affects it yeah there's a there's a lot of stuff in, in play there for sure and yeah. um what else so we're talking about PUBG. oh it was funny is the tactical map tactical map markers are in the game now i don't think like anybody's really using them um on console it's like they're very small when you put the tactical map marker down. You probably didn't even realize to like do it. You know, like when you mark and nobody really even marks the mini map on console. I think did we mention this in the podcast or was last podcast? I think it was where I was trying to say trying to start a movement for everybody to, to map their actual map uh, to mark their map 
in PUBG. The hard mark. Yeah, yeah. The hard marking is the way to go. Yeah, yeah. And and if yeah. you yeah, if you hard mark, that's the only way to use the tactical map marker. And a lot of people don't even do that already. So it's like. But I mean, what is the tactical like? I mean, if you're if you don't have a headset, that's where it's useful. But if you have a headset, it's not that big of a deal. True, but I guess it's a good reminder. Like, if everybody is putting down a marker, you might forget. Like, what did he say? Like, it was over there. You know what I mean? But I guess you're right for the most part. You know, I think the bigger issue is people just not hard marking. Like to me, yeah, it's so nice when people hard mark where they think the enemy is. Like literally, someone will just be telling me they're like, it's in. They're in a building. I'm like, orange building. I'm like, there's five orange buildings. Can so you just mark the building? And then yeah, I ask them, and they're like, and, and Aaron goes the same color. Yeah, and you're like. All right, they're on the second floor. I'm like, yeah, I get it, dude. But like, I don't know a build, what one, which of the five buildings. Then like, in the amount of time you're talking, let's just mark the building, just the exact one. Then I know, yeah. and then we can we can kill this guy. Um, yeah, no, I know. It's just like okay. Thank actually, you. dude, I'm about to just make a video about it. I'm just gonna make a video about it. Let's see. Maybe I maybe mean, someone will good. watch it. It's just gonna be me. Five it's just years. gonna. It's just gonna be a five minute compilation of me hard marking every every location on every map. No, just... <laughs> Don't say a word. Yeah, but uh, that cool. makes sense. Hard, That'd be hilarious. Hard marking, because that dude the other the other soft marking system blows on console. It just doesn't work right. It doesn't blow. It, it's helpful uh, to have yeah, it, it, but it's definitely not right. It's like yeah, when someone marks something and I'm looking like to the right and it's actually to the left, you're like, what the. F- or like it moves, like it's a market, and then you're like, okay, okay, I get what you're talking about. And then you start looking right, and it's like following you. You're like, okay, but now it's like this way. You're like, and then okay, now, and then you're like, it's yeah. kind of pointless now. It's just very annoying. Yeah, because you're t- like, what am I? What am I looking at, bro? And then you're all of a sudden you're like, oh, they're shooting me from behind because, you know. Or the hard marking is garbage. Yeah, this well, no soft, well, you know? the soft marking. Yeah, because it, and it depends where your teammate is. It's all that stuff, kind of. Yeah. causes issues with soft marking and then um you said you haven't been playing too much but the weapon mastery system is in the game so now um you can level up i think my highest weapon is like in the mid teens or maybe in the high teens uh, it's like the card yeah. 98 seems like the snipers level up like way faster than the ars almost like too fast uh i feel like like someone brian alley be known said he got like seven kills with the slr and he was like level seven with the slr in one game and then like yeah. you know i played the akm like all the time and i'm under like a 10 um not all really? the time but yeah like it takes it takes a lot longer to slow to level up which to me makes sense like if it's i think it's only 100 levels like this should take a really long time like i feel like it should be they should be like jacking up this making it like more difficult because there's people on pc like wacky jackie they said was the first person to level up the vss or something i think like in the world isn't that crazy they like tweeted him i think that's really? what it was yeah and uh so people like oh i've already hit level 100 like with their favorite guns on pc and if i'm already hmm. level 20 with the or level 17 with the car 98 and i never snipe but only recently i am like Mm. it's gonna be but again just like splitting hairs here like i I don't really it's not like affecting or making or breaking my day i'm just criticizing i guess like or judging or whatever i don't know just bullshitting about the the update you know but how far have you gotten some of your weapons i think like most of my like my m16 is really high because that's all i use because of the challenge i'm still working on the m16 challenge i need to like finish up like two more things so that's pretty Mm -hmm. high that's like in the teens card 98 is high and everything else is kind of low but it's all about like how many kills you get with it and also if you stay alive with a weapon for a particular amount of time like if you keep it if say you win so you had the game the whole game you'd get like extra bonuses on that weapon plus the amount of kills you got on it so it's like it adds up everything that you do yeah that makes sense. Yeah. I, I think it's just a cool system though. The, um, the charms, I think like little stuff like that is fun. So I'm glad, I'm glad they did it. I really don't care that much about the charms. I think we talked about this last week, so maybe we can move on from this, but I, I just wanted to bring it up because we, we both played it now. Um, uh, because now I'm thinking about it. I think this sort of is a repeat of probably what we were talking about in the last version of the podcast. Nah, maybe a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah. And also, there's just a lot to end this. There's the Type C preset, but I haven't even used it. I decided I'm not going to because there's no over the shoulder aiming. And even though I don't like over the shoulder aiming, I just think that like not having that button is kind of weird. And somebody also, Money told me from the stream, a couple shout outs here today, that like they changed some of the buttons like randomly. I think like how to equip a grenade has changed for no reason. So like it's weird. Yeah. You have to really. You'd have to really play with it for a while to get used to it. So I'm just sticking with type B and I still think you play with type A, but I think type B is still the way for me or the way to go. 
overall. Uh, I no, I play with Type B. I do, oh, do you know? Yeah, I switched a while ago. Do, do you like it, it is now? Like a no- uh, yeah, I like it just... Yeah, because I guess it's just more like Call of Duty, and that's what I'm used to. The yeah. only thing is, is I do like the third person a lot. It is sometimes like a little when wonky. I'm shooting like in, a, in like different like weird situations when yeah. I know someone's coming around the corner, I always stay third person, so mm-hmm. I can like see and time things a little bit better. Yeah. No, I agree with you. That's why I try not to do it, but we all I think it has its benefits in a third person game. So I, I again, why I won't switch to Type C, but there definitely is some small downsides to Type B. But I like I like the Type B. There's enough cons that I like the feeling of just hitting the trigger, and it mm-hmm. going down like sights, you know. Yeah, I mean, in the video, I guess I sent you where I won, where, like, the circle killed the guy. Like, but like I saw around the rock, and I just third-person them. Mm. It's just easier to kind of, like, get that, like, good... Like, you can kind of get the peak, and you... if You know, I don't know. Totally. It just no, gives the, you more spatial awareness, a hundred, in my opinion. A hundred percent. Like, I peak some... So. I, I do it sometimes over the shoulder when I'm not shooting, just to get a little extra... It actually gives you a little extra peak uh, yeah, when, you, when you do that. So, sure. like, you, yeah, it's definitely pretty beneficial. So, I just... I just use that money said he tried type C for a while and then he gave up because of some of the issues with it. So, uh, yeah, I just, I didn't like, mm, I like looked at the controls and I was like, this is too much. Um, the only thing is with B is that like, I have to consciously sometimes still think about using the bumper to aim. You know what I mean? To do yeah. the, the soft bumper aim. No, for sure. You know? Yeah. Does yeah. That make sense? No, no. It took me a while. I mean, I, like I said, like for you to get used to it, it only takes like maybe a couple, like uh, depending on how much you play, like a week or two or three. But it took me like two months to like where I didn't think about it like ever again of like playing all the yeah. time, like where or maybe like two or three months where like I would never even think about like it's LB to over the shoulder. So you, like you're because your brain just gets used to or you get used to it over time. But oh, uh, yeah, 110 percent. But it's just yeah. um. I'm trying to think about yeah, now, no, like now, what do I do? I think I, I think I have it pretty much down, like what I want to do. And I really don't over the shoulder, especially I try to stick to like what gun I'm using. Like if I'm using the ump, then I know I'll probably over the shoulder shoot at a close range. But if I'm using like the AK, I tried not to over the shoulder shoot at all anymore. Cause I've been burned by it so many times. Like there's certain guns are just so much better over the shoulder. Yeah. No, a hundred percent. I think the M4 is usually really good. Actually, the M4 the is pretty good. The is really good. Yeah, the submachine <laughs> guns are really good, and the M4 is really good. I feel like they Especially should for close. Yeah, yeah, and I think they should. They should be, and they should almost be even better because that's what submachine guns are meant to be for. So. Yeah, close range. They're faster rate of fire typically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, definitely pretty cool. Um, I, so far, I mean, like, I don't even know. Like, I, I just never, kind of just lost my train of thought there. I just haven't. Like had a need to try to see. Once I looked at the like what the buttons were, I was like, "There's no reason for me to try this." Yeah, there there really isn't. I, it, like I got, I don't know why. Like I think people were excited, but then it really was just like, "Oh, it's not like." A I huge... mean, I get like why you'd be excited. It's a uh, kind of a fun thing. Maybe there'd be something a little bit more catered to you. But then when you saw, you're like, "Who holds? Like, it's, it's a it's claw, isn't it? Ow." It's claws. Isn't it's it? it's or, um, um well, claws is a little bit different, but kind of is where it's it's where you would be. Basically, so we talked about this on, on the stream today. It was funny, um, it because you when you're when you're shooting, your thumbs are on the thumbsticks, right? Because you're moving with your left thumbstick and you're shooting with your right thumbstick. And I'm holding a controller right now to say this. And when you're play, most this is what we asked on the uh, in the stream. So just bear with me here because we thought this was kind yeah. of funny. If you pick up an Xbox controller or even a PlayStation controller, but because the Xbox controller like literally has the trigger, uh, if you pick up an Xbox controller, how do you hold it? I feel like 95% of people, uh, when they pick it up, they have their thumbs on the thumbstick and they put their pointer finger on the trigger. Almost everybody does that. Um, but the thing is, is that like the controller is ideally designed for you to have your pointer fingers on the bumper and your middle finger on the trigger, but the bumpers came late, right? The bumpers weren't always on controllers. The bumpers are new as of like Xbox 360. I don't think there were bumpers on the original Xbox controller. There was like the black and white button that they actually put underneath A and B. And then I think they moved them into the bumper, but I'm not hundred percent sure if I have that down my memory. Um, but so anyways, like I think most people are used to putting the trigger plus like trigger fingers, yeah. usually your pointer finger um so like if you're one of those people that plays with your pointer fingers on the bumper and you're and you shoot with the the trigger with your middle finger then this yeah. setup is like perfect for you but we pulled everybody in the chat and it was like 92 percent of people or it might have been 94 um said they all when you they hold a controller um 
they put their pointer finger mm-hmm. on the trigger and then somebody or two couple people must have voted that they put their finger on the bumper maybe they were trolling but it's kind of funny because the controller again is ideally it would it would be ideal if you held it like that because then you would have no reaction time like if i if i want to throw if i want to look yeah. around you know if i want to hit the right bumper button it takes you know it's like a millisecond to move your finger from your trigger to the bumper but it it's it would be faster if my finger was just already there i guess so this is again like pretty nerdy talk, but it's just something to, interesting to think about. And I laugh at stuff like this when you think about like how people hold their controller. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, doesn't um, number two pencil hold his controller that way? He might hold his controller that way. Some people got used to shooting with their middle finger. It just never felt right to me, like shooting with my no, middle finger. I, I never liked it. I don't like it at all. If I'm doing it right now. It feels weird on my controller. Um, so. If you're at home or next time you get on your controller, just, I mean, just think about it. I think most people hold it the way I'm talking about and then try, take your controller next time you are on or on PUBG, try shooting with your middle finger. It just feels so much different for some reason, uh, than shooting with your pointer finger. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's definitely a more efficient way to hold the controller. Cause then you don't have to move your finger. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's like t- it's like typing properly if you keep your fingers on the right <laughs> letters so true like it's I, actually more efficient but it's so hard to do yeah that's funny I sh- i'm gonna I, i'll do that tomorrow's question in the poll uh like who types properly I, at work i used to always i've been be... asking random people at work i'm like do you type with all your fingers like do you type with all your fingers like i probably use three fingers on each hand i don't use my pinky Mm, totally. I mean, sometimes I do use my pinky. No, not really. That's kind of a lie. Sometimes I mean, I mean I'll I, pinky to like hit enter maybe, but otherwise like, no, I barely use no. my ring finger too. I think, I think I use like maybe three, four and a half fingers. Yeah. So like you probably use like roughly five, right? Like I probably use anywhere from five to six to like on a real good day, maybe seven fingers typing, but probably more like five. But I've been, yeah. So that's why I've been trying to like use more of like my other fingers to like so that way i can get ready to comp- get ready to computer gaming <laughs> no it's such so true dude i used to walk around um when i was like standing over someone's desk uh i when i worked in an office and i would notice them typing like dude you're a really good typer man you're using all 10 fingers they would like laugh and then i we would go around like asking people and oh, i think a lot of people again use the um like seven finger method of typing instead of all 10 because it is weird man it is weird to type with all 10 fingers like the like you feel, almost look like a robot just it so just aligned like a, yeah I, I mean i've been getting better at it because i just like have been forcing myself to do it yeah it's weird though, but then man. like when i put in a password i use like pretty much my one index because <laughs> i'm like trying to do it like one time i'm like hey, man, dude that's so true i definitely do that I use like my man. just like two middle dude. fingers yeah 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 i'm like super like all right i'm not doing this again or i'll lock myself out because i was trying to do it with like my pinky yeah that's funny <laughs> I keep on hitting a instead of s or something i'm like god damn it yeah there was a meme a long time ago about like how if you like mess up your password with like one letter at the end you delete the whole thing instead of like just trying to fix it and i always do that last because i always do that you know like if you think you mess it up i don't backspace i just retype my whole password dude what do you do if you think you mess it up yeah do you do the same thing? Uh, like if you think you re- wait, type, what do you mean? if you're re- if you're typing your password, like say there's some there's some numbers in it or something, and you think you hit yeah. you think you like hit the wrong oh, number, yeah, I start from the beginning. you just start from, start the beginning. from the beginning. Yeah, but it's just funny because it could be the very last letter <laughs> that I'll mess up, and I still delete it all the way back to the beginning because it's just like a thing in your head, at least to me, where like I have to restart the whole password. And one more yeah. thing, I have to ask you: if you're typing something really fast. Um, like say if you're typing something, you're typing a letter to me and you're in like in super typing mode and you're about to type, it's an official letter and you're about to type Ray. So you want to capitalize R, um, do you hit shift R or do you hit cap locks R cap locks off? No shift shift. shift, shift. Damn. I hit caps twice. It's so weird. Wow. I don't know, I don't know why. Loser. I don't know why, but I like learned what? when I'm typing, I hit caps twice, like really fast. Like it's so fast that like, I might as well just be hitting shift no yeah i think i'm the only person that probably does that yeah i think you are i i'm trying to hit r and shift at the same time with my pinky and index finger it is fucking hard yeah i'm just i'm just so used to hitting caps i keep typing it over and over again it feels so good though to me it's so nice because i've been doing it for but you know what i bet it feels so natural hey 
I wonder. I wonder what the younger you kids use two hands to do it too, don't you, you freak? No, no, no. How dare you? Um, I wonder what kid the uh, no, no. <laughs> I wonder what kids are doing now because uh, like they're so they're used probably to probably using different. iPads. No, because they might not even use a keyboard though. Oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah, a lot of kids probably use an iPad. Yeah, you know, it's like a pain in the ass to type with that, so they're using like their thumbs to type on a keyboard. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I have a my cousin is younger, and she mm-hmm. is so good at like drawing and doing really fine movements on the phone like she can make like a professional painting on her yeah. like iphone and when i try to like if i try to like just draw on my phone for oh, like, like just line. make a circle like i can't even do it i'm like i can't even make a circle on the phone and the i think younger kids are so used to being on their phone that like making a really fine movement on the phone is so easy for them um when i'm like or maybe it's just because i have like fat fingers or something i don't know like it's yeah, well, she's probably got little fingers too. Yeah, that's true, but it's just like it's, it's like totally. Paint. But even like PUBG Mobile, like I bet kids are so used to like me. I don't like playing PUBG Mobile because I don't want to like deal with play like claw on my phone, and they're so used to like just only playing phone games and being on the phone. I feel like they're just so used to it, but who knows? Just my theory. They probably have some yeah. some skills with that I don't stuff. Know. I guess that makes sense. I, I it's always remind that reminds me of just using paint back in the day like it's so hard to draw like a line and paint it's like how why mm. is this such a, so hard <laughs> true but then again there's some people who who make like there's a whole reddit of people who like make paintings in microsoft paint like they do crazy artwork and stuff i'm like i'm pretty sure i'm going pretty straight down right now like with this thing but <laughs> yeah no it's, it's like not actually that's so true oh man we're kind of far off like pudgy feel, at this point but yeah we're way off topic here sorry no but it's kind of it is kind of funny though went down a rabbit hole that's fine. I mean, um, I guess we can move to what's what's the next topic we have here. We have a bunch. No, of my topics. bad. I didn't mean to totally like it was kind of fun on our little riff here. No, it's okay because I think it's, it's I we about know. covered it. It's important. It's important to cover that stuff. Yeah, no, for sure. So that's like the update and controller stuff. So let us know what you guys think about that. If or if you guys laughed at any of that stuff. Obviously, this will be on um, YouTube and on um, iTunes and Google Play. And don't forget, you guys can like follow us on Twitter and social media and all that stuff. Um, I'm at Blitz5. I feel like a lot of people have uh, – some people have messaged me on Twitter, but not too many about like particularly yeah. the podcast. But, you know, we there's a lot of people from YouTube on, on Twitter now. And I guess something we could talk about um, next is the tournament mm-hmm. if you want to. Yeah. You down with that? So don't say – I sent Andrew today a rough draft of the results. Don't talk about it because I'm not announcing that I have the results yet because I need to oh, – I want to okay. double-check them. This is just the first draft of the results and um, – I need to figure out like exact what exactly how I want to like display them and how I want to present them like what I want to do, but I definitely want to double check the data and make sure everything was cool. But so the tournament took place last Saturday. Today we said is July second. Tournament was on the 29th, which was Saturday, and um, the tournament, as always, always the first game is a cluster F because we are finding out who's not showing up, what's happening. People are late. Yeah. Like there's always there's issues. There's always people when they're showing up. Yeah, yeah, and that's fine because obviously, it's it's just a PUBG tournament, and there's other things more important. But uh, it's just tough. Mm-hmm. Like it's just tough from a from my standpoint to like balance all that stuff out, and make sure like people are getting on the right teams and everything. So once we got that sorted out, the next game is usually pretty easier because uh, it's setting it up, setting them up because it's just same seats. Like you get back in the lobby, everyone knows what team they're on already, and then yeah, um, they get into it. So after we got that situated, I would say that the actual games themselves were really good, and PUBG has slightly updated custom games where like it tells you who's on a rampage, and I was able to um, play in spectator mode for most of the time so like it was really easy to see a lot like a lot of times the spectator mode was getting messed up on xbox and in the previous tournament my xbox actually crashed when we were on the last game in sanak and that kind of like to me made the tournament like kind of a bummer so that didn't happen i was able to spectate and follow everybody around and see some like really fun moments of the tournament and i really enjoyed it like from that perspective and then a lot of people said that they liked it and they really enjoyed and they had a lot of fun so that made me feel better because I have to say this was probably like the most frustrating thing that I've set up tournament wise. Our fourth one. I don't know why there was just a lot of uh, people like, I don't know. Some people were getting triggered before the tournament. I don't know if you saw that. There were some people yeah. Wait, triggered before. Yeah. Before there was just like people being mean and rude. And like so many people were sending me messages and like, it's kind of saying not like rude stuff, but like so many people were like, 
and then even after the tournament, I sent you know I sent my I use my email and it's like my yeah. it's my YouTube like business email and people are mm -hmm. like emailing me just like really random questions and I'm like hey dude like this you know like I don't know I think it's like if you send somebody an email in 2019 like you're kind of like in this kind of sense and be respectful of like, <laughs> so like emails me are back. for customer support sort of but like this isn't like a business yeah well I mean I guess it is but you know I mean I'm just like dude what like you think I'm just going to be responding to like a hundred emails right now, like immediately or like why the tournament is live, like how to get in the tournament. Like the email says the password, <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, uh, yeah. it was just, I was getting a little like, why tricked. is the tournament uh, like you're streaming it and stuff? Yeah. Like I said, like, you know, every, I guess dude, this is like every, everything in life, man. This is like what it's like to be a teacher, dude. They always say like, they're like everyone just write your name and put the date and people will still screw it up. You know, like, I guess yeah, it's what it's no, like being a teacher. Well, the but, team that signed up four people and it was a three man squad was the funny one. Well, there's a lot of that stuff, man. There were some people who signed up for the tournament like four or five times themselves, you know? Oh my God. And then like, yeah, we had about 150 responses to, to the tournament. And after <laughs> I deleted them all, there was like 115 people registered. So there was, there was 35 like duplicate entries or, or people who like dropped out last minute that I deleted. So I'm like, what the, before they even, before the tournament even started, they said like, I can't even make it. So uh, yeah. there was a lot of duplicate entries. That, that yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. Totally. I just, you know, I, yeah, I, I think people are missing the point. Like this is fun. Like people are donating them the prize yeah. prizes and stuff. And it's just for fun. It's not like a serious thing. Like it, no one's going home and, if you go to work on Monday and you say it's your coworkers, you, yeah, I won this tournament. You're like, come on, like let's. Totally, yeah, maybe, it, yeah. That was at one like point a... it would be like that, but uh, I don't know. If I told my boss I won a PUBG tournament that my friend held, and uh, he'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, totally. It's exactly. It's just for fun, and then people were like bugging that some people were getting disconnected, and I'm like, "Dude, PUBG, there's nothing there's, we can do." First about of all, that. PUBG there's has always has always had, yeah, it's always had disconnections. The game. Right now, there's an era where there's more disconnections happening than than normal, and most of them are happening on Miramar. So we're playing a Miramar custom game, which is already extremely laggy. And you're like, someone's you know said I was rigging the tournament, and and I kicked them uh, out of Miramar. I saw that. Like, okay. I saw that. I was like, dude. If, I but I, I wanted. I was about. I was about to say something, but I was in the middle of like doing something. And I was about to be like, listen, if you don't, if this is an issue, then don't play next time. Yeah, it's just like, dude, it's in free. It, and that's exactly why I don't take any money. Like, I'm not going to do, you have to pay $5. You know what I mean? It's fun. It's free. And if something happens, then it's free, dude. You didn't, you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, you know, you wasted maybe a minute to sign up. Like, that's all it took, you know? But, um, but yeah, yeah. normally, I guess, I guess the issue is, is that normally I don't look at that stuff or like, I'm pretty good at just like, if someone sends me a mean comment on youtube i i feel like i deal with it pretty well for the most part yeah but i guess for like the past last week i was not dealing with it very well i was like i was not or maybe because there was i was already kind of frustrated that it was kind of rubbing me the wrong way uh just to be honest last last week and on saturday yeah so, I, I know i saw but i mean I, the tournament though when people were like the, accusing you of like ringing i'm like you can't even do that yeah have you ever played like I, I think it's because really like there really isn't too much gain for me. Like people that are donating are like it's donate it's going to the tournament. You know what I mean? Um, like some people donated to me, but most of the donations were going to the people who were playing in the tournament. And yeah, like I got some subscribers, but it's not like I got like I might have got five or ten. It's not like I made yeah. like a thousand subscribers. This isn't. I'm not doing this to like for some super selfish reason. I'm doing it because literally. Uh, I think it was DJ Av Live, one of the first members on YouTube channel, literally said it would be fun way to like get back to everyone that's like involved with the channel. I'm like, that's such a good idea. And it's like a way to build camaraderie. And it's fun. Yeah. Like now today people were like, oh, I killed this guy. I you know, people were saying like, I killed GB yeah. in the tournament. I killed this guy. Yeah, in the I saw. Yeah, like it's fun. Yeah, you know, saw, it kind of builds like a little like WD40. rivalry. Made his name, I killed GB. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm doing it. So like, I guess for me, I, and honestly, like I spent so much time and then for people to be like, dude, you're rigging it. I'm like, Oh my God, dude. Like it's not, yeah, it's farther. Annoyed too. It's like farther from like, the truth. Yeah. Like I'll say it for you, bro. If you're really that buddy hurdy about it, then don't play next time. There's yeah. plenty of other people that want to play that are just happy to play and have someone to, some and get to meet some people to play with. Like, yeah. Or you know potentially I mean? win That's a free really prize. Like the fact that you can potentially win a free prize is awesome. Yeah, and you get yeah, but I mean, like some people, it's like, oh, I, I don't get to usually play with people. Here's an opportunity to meet some people to play with. Totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah, and one like, good thing is we do we do itself. we we do meet 
we uh, usually every tournament we do meet some new people that found it from a friend or something, and then they do become involved with the channel. So we did meet some new people. So shout out to all you guys if anyone's ever even listening to this podcast. But and yeah, sorry to even I guess bring it up again. But you know, this is what the podcast is for, just to talk about this stuff. But we're venting right now. Yeah, we're just, just we should yeah. dress up in suits and just do it as a real ca- casting. We could we could switch off from the stream and then switch back on. Yeah, it could just be me and you wearing tuxedos. No, literally, I mean, I saw saying. I, I mean, eventually, when like this becomes like a more elaborate thing, hopefully everything through YouTube, and I have either like a a nice setup, like either with a whole like basement setup or something for streaming, or like in a studio kind of thing, like office, like yeah. or like a place. You know, I don't know. Like, I definitely need a second bedroom, an extra bedroom to like stream in, or a special space. But like once that's yeah. set up, like we could do so much fun stuff and have <laughs> like space. like a, yeah. Well, that sounded mm-hmm. weird, but like you could have like a you know everything like on deck, like a green screen on deck. Roll the green screen out for the tournament. You know, and you have us like floating somewhere funny, or like have a thing in the background. Doing John Madden draws yeah <laughs> like there's there could be so many extra things that like would would be really fun but that's all all oh, the future yeah. and uh hopefully in my yeah, future i mean the future. thing is that PUBG needs to get the custom games to be a little bit better too so there's you know I yeah mean, totally it's, it's not all exactly it's not all on me and most of the stuff is like most of the issues are like PUBG issues um but again just to just to reiterate all stuff like i'm really not i'm not super buddy hurdy i i'm admitting that on saturday no, no. i was buddy hurdy but just sharing like after effect no, like I thoughts know. of that stuff but um but yeah the stress like there is like some stress that goes into putting it together oh sure. yeah literally like it there it sounds silly but there is you know it's just like anything like um you know there it's is work. exactly it is there is some work and like some stress involved because you know like if it's not working people are going to be like f this dude just waste of time like and then so like there is like some pressure to be like i want this to be you know people have it obviously reflects on me and my youtube channel and stuff like that so to me it does mean a a lot, I mm-hmm. guess, you know, if you want to put it that way. Yeah, that I, kind of sense. I get it. I agree 110%. Also, I think yeah. it's kind of important to, I mean, I don't know. It's fine to address these things. In yeah. My opinion. yeah. 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 Totally. Totally. And, but most of the people listening to this, probably a lot of people are, um, check like watch the stream and stuff like that so they, they might have been watching on on saturday and thank you guys to anybody who just watched and everybody that played thank you guys as well and uh overall yeah overall though it was a really fun time I think and it was great. uh one of the best parts was that every time every winner of this tournament every uh the game that is like the we played one on sanak one on miramar and one on erangal and the winner of each match was someone from the stream that is like usually in the stream pretty often and the last game which was on Erangal, it came down to day day's team which was day day evil cam wd40 and uh d mart who like really good friends of the stream we played day day all the time and versus yeah. money and his squad friends of the stream we shot him out earlier in the podcast and they came down there were the money. final two teams money's team ended up winning it was crazy fashion that match at least and um it was just really fun to watch yeah. that stuff and and uh, see those guys play well and get a lot of kills and stuff no, yeah, it was, dude, it was definitely, it was fun to watch. Like, the tournaments to me, I think PUBG in general is, like, fun to watch, and I think the tournaments are fairly fun to watch, because then you kind of know everybody involved, too, so you're like, oh, my God, you're like, I know what's going yeah. on here. Yeah, it makes, it makes me I mean? almost want to watch, like, more competitive PUBG, because it you could see, like, if you had multiple cameras, like, switching, like, almost like NFL, like, switching from this, like, the action to the action, and then people, like, professionally commentating on it, like, it'd be really fun to watch all that stuff go down, and, like, see the movements, because there's so much strategy involved, like, the different movements and flanking and everything. So it's, it's definitely pretty cool. The spectator view is where oh. it's at for sure. Oh, hundred percent. The floating I mean, camera. I, hopefully PUBG will update it for a console. I mean, hopefully the next gen, I think that PUBG is going to have to really jump up for the next gen too. Anyway. I mean, that's still over a year away, but yeah, I wonder if they're like, if, if uh, better. if they're committed to console, if like next gen, we'll see stuff like they have like the replay editor and stuff like that. That would mm-hmm. be like hardcore, but uh, Call of Duty had that and stuff. That would be really cool to yeah. see on console. I know they really be... need to get their shit together on console. And their player base would probably be bigger, but I, I get it. Yeah. It'd be kind of interesting if we just ran it on PC and everyone, like, people would just plugged in their Xbox controllers to their PC. And they just had like uh, lobbies for people who played on console, maybe? Controllers? Like you create a, no, you, cr- no, I mean, like you, your custom matches, like everyone has to just. 
play on PC. Oh, I see. Yeah, but with not their controllers. I see, but not everybody I mean, has if they it. want to play keyboard and mouse, but most people probably that are playing Xbox are probably controller people. But yeah, what I already thought full functionality. What I always thought was lame is that they make you pay twice. But I guess that makes sense. No, any no, any yeah. any game would make you pay twice. But uh, oh, well, I'm wondering with Ultimate Pass if you would pit play twice. Oh, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't have to. So you'd have yeah. it on. I mean, you know, people may want to play with like keyboard and mouse but in reality like I, I my opinion would be i or assumption would be that if you're playing on majority of console then you're probably not a big keyboard and mouse person anyway yeah yeah but most of those people probably don't even have a gaming pc like a lot of people yeah, just have an xbox very true so yeah, very it would, like, would be kind of hard to well do. they're gonna have to use x cloud or <laughs> <laughs> whatever yeah uh, google stadia what was I going to say? But yeah, so it'd be interesting to see what happens with that. And then just to move on from like PUBG update stuff, I guess like PUBG is kind of stepping up their game and we should, like they said, they're going to try to be getting us pretty close to PC now. And we should be getting another update in sometime in July that with uh, some of the new stuff here. So they're doing a pretty good job. I don't know. We're pretty close to, we're only one update behind now again, and it just went live on PC. So we're not that far behind them right now. Really? It's a good thing. Obviously. Yes. Um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it all picks up, keeps picking up. You know. Yeah, and I saw on um, Twitter that PUBG recently hired some new people, so they're like expanding their oh, team. Oh, well, that's too. good. So that's always good news. Always good news. Yeah, I mean they're hiring, which is good. If they weren't hiring, I'd be a little concerned. But it's definitely a good thing. I'm kind of a. I don't know. What was the next uh, topic we had here? Actually. Um, okay, my bad. I was just checking my here. I heard like fireworks or like something going off in the back. I don't know what that was. I'm not sure if it'll come mm. through on the audio. But um, no, no, I guess after that, like we don't really have a major topic, but I wanted to talk about maybe the Game Pass thing really quickly, but it's not like a huge thing because it's ending today, actually. No, Did you do that thing or no? Yeah, I bought uh, an extra two years of gold and, and then I did the Game Pass. Okay, so yeah, I think this is kind of a weird topic to talk about because it's kind of confusing and today's the last day. So actually when you guys listen to this, if you haven't done it already, it's already too late. I think, to, I think today's the last yeah. day. It could be tomorrow. Um, but uh, it's the ultimate I game pass it, bundle. Yeah. I, I think it was today. Yeah. I think, I think it's today. Basically you could get the game pass ultimate, which is $15 goes to your PC and your Xbox, all of the games that are available on game pass. You could get it for $1 and it would last until the lifetime of your, or not lifetime, your current uh, Xbox Live agreement. So um, up to three years. So what a lot of people are doing is they were buying three years worth of Xbox Live prepaid and then paying $1 mm -hmm. and they would get Xbox Game Pass for $1 for three years instead of having to pay $15 a month. So it's kind of complicated, but basically there was this crazy deal going on to celebrate like the launch of Game Pass Ultimate. And I was also thinking, Andrew, you probably, I think you'll agree with this, that this is honestly a great idea for them because then they get to say now, like in their stock report, that like X amount of people have paid for Xbox Live and also um, Game Pass. You know what I mean? Because they're going to report how many people probably signed up for Game Pass. It's one dollar, you know. So then they can say now, like, oh, 15 million people signed oh, up for Game Pass. Derived, they'll, yeah. they'll say like 15 million people signed up for Game Pass, and Game Pass costs fifteen dollars. They'll do that. That's how accounting and shit works because that's the price oh, of it. Yeah, they'll just you know? say deferred revenue. Deferred revenue for later in the future, and then people yeah, will be like, is like, yeah. And then people will be like, wow, wow, uh, 15 million people signed up for a Game Pass? Wow, Xbox Live, Xbox must be doing really well. And then like it kind of skews the numbers. Then also on top of that, because so many people were probably re-upping their Xbox Live, the Xbox Live like active numbers yeah, right now is probably like yeah, so Xbox inflated. Live to save some money. Um, yeah, so like it's probably, I don't know if that's, that's probably not why they did it, but may maybe, but there's definitely going to be some kind of impact there for them because a lot of people signed up for this Game Pass, which. Um, yeah, well. I guess thinking about it this way, they mm. and it's a big investment. If you get hooked, if you get hooked, two or three years from now, if they can hook half of the people that sign up, say twenty million people sign up, and and maybe they wouldn't have signed up otherwise uh, because they didn't want to pay ten dollars or fifteen dollars. If they can get half the people, even a quarter of the people to sign up, and twenty million people signed up, and they start paying fifteen dollars three years later, that's a huge like revenue increase for them as well. Like it's just a, it's a pretty good idea. Any kind of sale is always a good idea if it gets people. Yeah, on. I mean, I, I think it's a genius, like not genius, but I think that it's really smart because they have such a big player base already, and they're just converting them to like X, pretty much onto like X Cloud. So like yeah all these people that are potential 
to migrate to Google Stadia or whatever is going to come out in October, like, why would you when already you have like two years or an extra, you know, nine months of, you know, ultimate game pass. So you're already bought in like, you know, what I mean, it would be redundant almost to buy Google Stadia at that point. To- no, totally, totally. It would really be redundant. But the thing is, it's just crazy that everything is becoming this way where you pay monthly. Yeah. And like at a certain point, I think someone was making a joke about it that like um, people complained for the longest time that like cable was too expensive and that they would, you know, cord cutters, they called it. That became a thing like 10 years ago. Yeah. Like people would cut mm-hmm. the cable. Now, like uh, it's pretty popular. Like a lot of people do that. But now yeah. it's getting to the point where they're so they they're charging so much money for individual things that you're almost probably paying more than when we just had cable because it's like oh do you want the sports package oh that's fifteen dollars a month do you want hulu oh that's five dollars a month do you want spotify that's like ten dollars five dollars a month you know and then like everything is like ten dollars a month youtube tv ten dollars a month or yeah. whatever it's a crazy i don't know the prices I'm, I'm making those prices up but um there's so many things to buy on a monthly basis that it's like god dang yeah payment yeah it has so many subscriptions now it's like stupid like yeah. H- well have but if you're a gamer, the right cable company, but you can have HBO, Netflix, Hulu, you know. Totally. But if you're a gamer and you play multiple games, it's literally a no-brainer. Um, except for I was trying to explain this to our buddy Craig, our mutual friend in real life. His name is Craig, oh, and he yes. like is so stuck on owning the actual game that he has no interest in Game Pass. But he's one of those guys where he plays so many games that come out that I'm like, dude, yeah. this is like, like you could probably save a ton of money. He probably buys like. He probably buys more games oh, than I than I than out of anybody that I know. Like, because uh, he's always gaming. Oh, yeah. He doesn't play. He's yeah, like he's a, always gaming, and he's always playing a different game. He's, he's a he's an know, OG like gamer. Everyone. Like he plays like just regular random single player. He plays like indie games. He's like old school. He's a, he's a traditional gamer. When like me, yeah. if I played for Game Pass, all I'm playing is PUBG. I'd be paying ten dollars a month yeah. to play PUBG. Really? Well, I mean, know? we're gonna get some cool things out of it. Like you get, we'll have exclusives, right? So like Cyberpunk 70, 2077 will be on there. Will it? I mean, something we want to try to yeah. play. Is Age of right? Empire- Age of Empires isn't gonna be on there, is it? I because that would be awesome. But I'm Age of Empires will be on there. Is it gonna be? I'm I pretty know. sure it will be because we, it's an Xbox exclu- It's a Microsoft exclusive. Mm, we were talking about it in the stream, man. Uh, DK, you know, some people some are, people are excited it. about it, dude. Like uh, I think Devin yeah. was too. Like I am. I'm very excited. I said to play I got this. to play it. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, I got to play it there. Yeah, hopefully, it'd be fun. We can get some people in the stream playing. I don't know if we can do like. I mean, that game was mostly like a single player game for me, but maybe there is some multiplayer aspects that would be fun, or I don't know. Yeah, we could like play. 2v2 I mean, Borderlands or was Borderlands a. I don't know if that would be Games Pass. Probably but, not because uh, it's on all the platforms. No, but I mean the Handsome Collection is on there. Oh, okay. Which is like the all the expansions. Oh, interesting. PUBG yeah. is on Game Pass. I know PUBG is on Game Pass. Yeah, I know they are. But you know what's interesting um, too is that if you have PUBG, I, I probably said this a million times, but you get a discount mm-hmm. on the in-game items if you have Game Pass. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, if you say, for example, like, buy a thing in game, but yeah, but if you buy like a survivor nice. pass, like the survivor pass, I think is like 10% or 20% off or something like that. Everything's like 10 or 20% off, <clears throat> yeah, which isn't that, a big I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here already, and yeah. I know they're adding a lot, aggressively adding a lot of stuff. So, because mm-hmm. everything's going to go to this kind of base, like a subscription of some sort. So, in reality, there's no reason, like, you know, this is how they kind of hurt, uh, games like Fortnite, you know what i mean they just everyone just gets on the subscription based type of thing and totally. just kind of goes for it. what about gamestop man gamestop is taking a beat damn dude i haven't been to a gamestop in years man years i like to every now and then buy some games in person but i haven't been like the last call of duty i don't know when the last game i bought was in person actually to be honest with you i haven't bought one in person in a long time i used to like doing it now i'm just like meh I'm good with just downloading it. Yeah, I know what GameStop did is they started they bought Think Geek that website, and they started selling like Think Geek items in the GameStop. And mm-hmm. have you ever been to ThinkGeek.com? I used to go to that website all the time when no. I was like growing up. They, no, never been. There. You know what it is? They used to sell like um, they sell like cool like video game and like comic book like items. Like I'm looking at like they have like Guardian of the Galaxy like shoes and like yeah. <clears throat> I think I bought like honestly. I think I bought one of your PUBG shirts. I got I got you that PUBG shirt that one time. I think, I think oh, I, you got that for J- from Jinx. Okay, that was Jinx. It's kind of like Jinx. Yeah, that, my bad. It's similar to that kind of thing. Um, yeah, no, that was that games, was from Jinx. Yeah. Yeah, because I have the sticker on my um, microphone. 
GameStop stock. I remember the other day, like a couple weeks ago, they dropped like ridiculously. Mm. The stock dropped like. But it was smart that they they con- they started oh, converting yeah. the stores to, into selling like Think Geek items because then it became like more of like a retail place to visit. So I thought yeah. that was kind of uh, genius on their part. But um, Tuesday, June fourth, it dropped from seven dollars and eighty two cents to five dollars and forty seven cents. What? Or five? It dropped down to five oh four. Now it's a little bit. It's hovering. Oh my god, their stock is five dollars right now, dude. I remember when it was like sixty. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is crazy. On a brighter note, though, did you see Tesla? Yeah, look at this, dude. When I was at when I was at work, it was at like fifty dollars, forty dollars. Wow, hold on, oh, Tesla. Really? Did Tesla stock go up? No, shit, it's still yeah, it's really been, low. Yeah, it was dude. at forty dollars in twenty fifteen, dude. Wow. Oh no, it did. Yeah, I see wait. overnight it, it's at seven percent up after hours. Today? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, because it's really low. Wow. I would buy it, but I don't think they're gonna be around for long. <laughs> you could just see like these like if you look at the six month on Google, you could just see like Monday, January twenty eighth drops like a huge amount. Then it kind of just like slow decline, then another just like straight drop, like just because people are hating hating on them, dude. That's all. I don't hate on them, man. I just think that they kind of had um I mean the the new CEO out, wow, this George Sherman just took over in April, so see what he can do, man, you know. Yeah, but if you look at their max graph, if you look at their max graph, if you look at like where they were in 2016, then it like kind of They've had a lot of up, crazy ups too, so like it kind of looks yeah. like it's just a volatile stock. N- not something smart to invest in, um, although your boy Blitz Five. If they can turn it around, they'll make a killing. Yeah, we'll see. If That's why turn it around. Yeah. It's a good stock to invest in, but yeah, we shall see, man. We shall see what the future has in store. Uh, yeah. So what else, man? Let me. I I, I I almost want to end the podcast here, but I want to say I want to mention one more thing here. It's at the end. Um, we're about an hour in, so I think we we're pretty safe to call it. But this is something that is probably going to make you cringe. I know some people have mentioned it probably in the um, chat. You know what I'm you know what I'm about to bring up? No. League of Legends, dude. League of Legends. I just cringed. Uh, right. cringe. Yeah, I know cringe. So I'm gonna I. Uh, now. Bye. All right. All right. See you later. But this game is actually is actually pretty fun. Um, so this I'm gonna try to explain this because you guys, it's just good to be in the know, right? Like sometimes you just want to be in the know, and I, I definitely wasn't in the no. know. Someone had to text me I about this. This know. was this was Mark, our buddy Mark had to text me and explain this to me. That there's this new game genre that kind of came out out of nowhere. And actually, let's do our Twitch test. We don't we do this almost every week that we remember. We watch we watch the top Yay, games on Twitch. Twitch. So here we go. This is this is why I want to do this because. First is Fortnite right now with 120,000 viewers, but in second is Team Fight Tactics, which is a League of Legends game, and that has 80,000 viewers. Then in third is Apex, and fourth Grand Theft Auto, and then League of Legends is there. Uh, Mario Maker 2 is there, so someone must just be streaming that. Like that's pretty big, unless that's like a brand new version of that. I'm not sure. And let's see where mm-hmm. PUBG is. PUBG's not even in the top two rows, which is not good. Uh, one, yeah, two, yeah, three, four, five, bro. six, seven, eight, nine. Doesn't right. seem like anyone's online right now playing it. That's the thing. Oh, that's so. why uh, Choco Taco's not on. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, come on, Choco. Oh, and there's like Dr. Disrespect is on, but is that not him? Or is that like it only has 284 viewers and that doesn't even look like his channel? No, that's not him. He's back in Twitch. I mean, he actually yesterday, I guess he posted an apology about it. So. Oh wow! This person's whole thing is I am not Doctor Disrespect, but his name is like Doctor. Oh, it's Dip Respect. Okay, wow. Well. Um, so that, that's that's hilarious. But so what I want to explain here is that um, I'll try to make this quick because I know not everybody's interested in like League of Legends and that fairy tale oh. nonsense. But um, my fiance we used to famously joke that it was Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, because I used to play League of Legends so much. I I really love that game. So League of Legends is a MOBA game. It's a multiplayer mm-hmm. online battle arena, I think it stands for. And you pick a character, kind of like World of Warcraft S. There's like mages, there's damage dealers, there's people with swords, there's tanks that eat up with shields that eat up damage. And you pick one character, there's five on a team, and you play against five other people, and you protect your base. And 
if you if your base blows up, you lose. So it's like you're fighting versus the other team. When you kill them, you push towards their base. If you blow up their base, you win. And it's very complicated game. Way more in like it's it's really a lot of details, a lot of nuances, and there's like so much strategy involved that makes the game like really fun. And for a while, it might still be the biggest game in the world. I think Fortnite might have beat it for a little while, but because people played League of Legends like worldwide, when I was playing it, dude, like they just their player base was out of control, man. They had some times when they would have like 30, 50 million people online like at one time. It was just insane how many people were playing that game across the world. So yeah. what they did is they created this, um, I guess a bunch of companies came out with this new game mode where instead of like, it's very, it's like PUBG, you like are so, even more than PUBG, like you're so focused the whole time when you're playing, like you, it's, it's hard to stream and like you, there's no way you could talk to chat and play League of Legends at the same time. Like you need to be completely focused the whole time you're playing. So what they did is they made this version and people are calling this genre called auto chess where like you are playing, it's almost like, um, like you're being dealt like a hand of cards and then, and in that cards are the players, like say the mage or the tank or something. And then you, you buy, you build a team with the cards that you're dealt and then they go on a board and then you can kind of position them on the board, almost like chess, like where you want them to be. And then you fight an opponent and it does all the fighting is, is auto for you. So it's like, um, almost like RTS kind of like a real time strategy where like, and then you want, you improve your, your team, but like you basically build your team and you improve them and then they automatically fight for you. So it might be hard to follow that. Um, but it's a really interesting game genre and you can tell right now it has the second most views on Twitch and it's very relaxing because all you have to do is build your team and then they auto play for you. So it's almost like playing. Hmm. Yeah. It's almost like playing an RTS, but with just individual characters instead of like building a base and building like say command and conquer style or something. You know what I mean? It's yeah, kind of, I, it's really it's really hard to it's really hard to explain, but it's very yeah. relaxing and I really like it. It's so much fun and it may I've been like addicted to playing it for the past like three days and I streamed it uh, on Monday and night. No one watched. No, some no like there was a couple people in and then because I said I said uh, PUBG is gonna be after so I'm like PUBG will be after I put that in the title. <laughs> I like team fight tactics PUBG after. Um, but a lot of people hate on League of Legends because they don't understand it. But I feel like this is a good way to like. For anybody that might be looking for a game, League of Legends is free, and this is like an option within the game. So if you guys have a laptop and like you want to get involved in like a new gaming genre, like this is basically like the new battle royale. Like ba battle royale came out of games that were like, uh, you know, Call of Duty and Arma, all those games. Like people are tired of playing deathmatch; they wanted to play something like battle royale. So this is blowing up just like battle royale did. It's a new game genre, completely new, and uh, people are really into it. So I think uh, it'll be interesting. Like we'll be talking about it. I think more in the future. Like it's not going to go away. I don't think it's only. I think it's only yeah. going to get bigger. Because games no, like I mean, uh, it sounds interesting. I don't know. I just never really got into League of Legends. I tried. I just didn't like it. Yeah, it's more for people who are like again. I love playing FPS shooters. I could basically just play shooters for the rest of my life, but occasionally it's nice to have a different game where it's kind of casual. And I've been looking for like a casual game, um, like an RTS or something like that. Like I, a couple years ago, I tried to buy the um, Sim Builder, like Sim, not Sim City. It's like um, City Skylines, which is basically like Sim Cities. Cause I'm like, it'd be fun to just relax and like build a city or something. But mm -hmm. it was so intricate. I'm like, dude, this game is stressful, dude. Like I have to file taxes. I'm like, I can't, I don't want to do this in a game. Like yeah, play, no, like plan like the I water am. system. Um, I just want to relax and play like a cool game, you know? And this game, what, you have to be very focused, but like you can relax. Like it's not stressful. You're, you're like, it's more like you're just thinking like, do I want to build this character or do I want to build like this character? And like, where do I want them to be on the board? And then like you watch them fight and you're kind of like thinking like, okay, uh, you know, like auto chess, like they're just fighting each other. Like, okay, that didn't really work out. And then you like kind of replan your board and then you fight again. And you're like, it's almost like Stratego or something. Yeah, it's like Stratego, but I, but I, with League of Legends characters. I don't know. I guess I'll stop what? talking. You know Stratego? Uh, yeah, I just started like watching this guy playing a Yu Gi Oh card game. Uh, oh, okay. oh, this is cool. That looks relaxing. Yeah, it's like that's why people play Yu -Oh Hearthstone. Dual, dual links. Yeah, but Hearthstone's cancer. Oh my god, dude! This is ridiculous. What is on Google, dude? What do you mean? I just googled Yu Gi Oh Yu Gi Oh, Yu -Gi -Oh cards, and like a bunch of you... like um, X rated things popped up, and I googled Yu Gi Oh Wait, cards. You blo you blocked out. You said what? 
I I uh, just googled Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and a bunch of what popped up? X-rated uh, pictures of like Yu-Gi-Oh characters popped up. What is this, dude? Like being sold you on ever eBay? Yu-Gi-Oh cards? No, my but it's not supposed to be X-rated shit. This is like porn. Oh oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, your fucking your search is just dictated by all this stuff you keep on looking. No, at. I mean this is no, this is brand new. This is brand new Google, dude. This is just. I think I just don't have safe filter on. That's sad though. Well, why would you want safe filter on anyway? Well, why, why do you want to not safe filter? Why oh, would... yeah, I got it too. <laughs> it's like a girl. It's like the, what the that what? one girl spread eagle, and the other one is just uncensored like uh, tits in your face. Wow. How's it the first uh, thing that pops up weird. if you if you type in Yu-Gi-Oh cards? <laughs> uh, be careful! Wow, dude! Wow, that That's is so amazingly up. odd. Yeah. Wow. It's just like a game. Oh, well, anyway, the Twitch thing was just—it's a game. It looks kind of cool. Wow. I remember they had one on uh on earlier, like they had a Yu-Gi-Oh game that I tried out, and I was like, man, I don't get it. But this one looks a little bit better. It's more just like a card game. Which is like simple. They always try to like overcomplicate these games and like reinvent the wheel. When it's just like people just want to play a card game. Exactly. Make it easy to play a card game. You exactly. I mean? Exactly, man. Just want to play something like kind of relaxing. Hearthstone is just car- car- and no, Hearthstone's a lot of fun, but they went like to town on that game, dude. You need to have like, you need to be like a billionaire to play that game. It's just, yeah. It's and not I told to you guys that. I'm like, is. dude, this game is not winnable unless you keep buying shit. And you're like, no, it's definitely fair. And then it's like, oh yeah, you know what? You're right. No, no. It it honestly is though. There are people every month who play like who go like, here's my deck. I don't pay any money. And like, but it's like you have to be like, you basically are at a disadvantage. It's like yes, you can win, but it's like to keep up with all the new cards and have fun and like not like unless you're like looking up on reddit the f- the craziest free decks ever and like completely doing all this weird shit to manipulate your deck to get the best free deck it's just so ridiculous yeah. and they come out with new cards like every five minutes it's like all right dude i know you want to update your game but you don't need to come out with a new card every five seconds and make people try to pay for it like just chill out dude like i end up spending so much money on that game like I, i've like never spent much, know, so much money like, on one I game i play so much too but i did because i used to play like when i was at work in the bathroom and shit like it, you know like i play all the time like walking to work on the train i would play like every day so i'm like i don't mind if i spend like 20 dollars here 20 dollars there but i'm like after a while i'm like dude i'm not spending any more money in this game i'm over it like this is ridiculous no, i agree i mean it's just like after a while it becomes a void so yeah but it's just at a certain point i feel like games and we can end on this it's same thing with like PUBG. i i'm down to spend money you're spending your time on the game i'm down to spend if you're spending your time on something like spend your money on it i'll never judge you for spending anybody for spending money on a game but there's just certain things where like like a uh you know like a gun skin shouldn't cost 30 dollars in a game and luckily it doesn't but like there's certain things where like this doesn't make sense you know what i mean like yeah. the, like the clown outfit that i bought yeah, we- back in the day like shouldn't have been it was like 18 dollars. like it shouldn't have been 18 dollars. that was ridiculous but i bought it because it was funny for the stream but like it was for the content it was for the content but really like a clown outfit should not cost that much money in a video game like it it like in, at least in PUBG, you know the quality wasn't that high so there's just certain like amount that um seems fair and we can end on on that i guess no i guess and hearthstone went over that hearthstone hearthstone went too far i'm willing to spend that whatever uh, it takes on a game if if that's what it takes you know if that's what you're enjoying yeah yeah but i'm not gonna go spend money on a game that's like i have to pay money to like be stay up to date or or keep keep up with it that's just frustrating for me a hundred percent yeah it's ridiculous Hi, right, man. Yeah. So, so uh, thanks for Thank catching you. up, dude. We uh, we covered a lot of stuff. So hopefully this sounds yeah. okay, and hopefully this this episode. Yeah, we kind of went properly. all over the place today. Yeah, it's okay. Getting, but that's good. Fine. No. It's what time fine. is it now? It's it's already ten o'clock. Wow. All right, man. Sure. Yeah, that's no, all good. But anyways, all right, we'll say goodbye to everybody. Thank you guys for Bye, listening, everybody. and I'll, we'll talk to you guys uh, next week. All right. Later, everyone. All right. Peace, everybody. Thank you for making it into the final circle. Deuces.